my name is Emily and I'm a beauty amateur and a YouTube amateur and welcome to my channel. For today's video I wanted to talk about uh, this thing right here which I've been using to keep myself organized and um, to keep a better eye on what I have in my collection. I got this idea uh, in part from Andrea Matalano. Matalano? I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, I'm sorry, because she does a regular series called her Everyday Makeup Drawer. Um, I can't call this a drawer obviously because it is not a drawer. But basically the premise is that she uses products every day in an effort either to use them up or an effort to get to know them a little bit better. What I've been trying to do is to go through things that I already own and either regain like a better appreciation for something that I haven't used in a while or figure out if it's something that I really need to hang on to and whether or not it's worth potentially just getting rid of it. So instead of using things that I wanted to try to uh, use up or pan or whatever, um, I'm actually going to be rotating them out on a monthly basis. So this is the makeup that I've been using all through January. Every time I've done my makeup in the month of January, I've been using some sort of combination of the products in this box. Here's the top layer. So on this side, I have complexion products. On this side, I have some lipsticks. I'm going to get to those later. The light in here is really bad, and I tried to introduce a lamp to the situation, but I actually just think it's making it worse. So please pardon that and the shadows. We'll start with the complexion products. So I have two primers uh, in my kit this month. So this is from The Ordinary, it's their high adherence silicone primer. If you have not tried The Ordinary, they make mostly skincare products, they have a couple cosmetic products, they are unbelievably inexpensive. So I would recommend them highly. You can get some other stuff at Sephora, I know they don't have the foundation there though, I think you can get that one at the Bay. I have this and I have their other primer, um, which I like actually more than this one, so that's why I put this in the box this month because I was trying to consider whether or not maybe I should get rid of it. But I, I've decided to keep it because it is pretty nice. It's like a kind of a white thick cream and it doesn't um, smooth out without a lot of effort so that's my main gripe about it but it does wear nicely under your foundation and stuff like I said very inexpensive especially for Sephora this one is from Bare Minerals. Uh, it is their Primetime Original Foundation Primer. This is a mini. I got this in a gift set just this past Christmas. This one's really nice. It's got more of the silicone-y feel to it. It spreads out very well and it's clear. I usually use this one if my skin is feeling kind of dry. I find it works really effectively for pore filling. Speaking of foundation, um, this is new to me. I think I bought it maybe two months ago. It was on clearance at Sephora. And much to my chagrin, I've now discovered that I like it and I don't make it anymore. <laughs> This is the shade Warm Linen, and I find that this is a really nice, not too heavy type of foundation, especially if you shear it out a little bit. Another complexion product is uh, the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Obviously, I've not tested whether or not it wears for 24 hours, but I wear the shade Vanilla, and I got this from BoxyCharm, actually. It was in their add-ons, um, or Choice or something, and then I bought a second bottle as a backup after I really liked it in add-ons. I love these bottles. They're glass. They're such high quality. The lid is really nice. It's got a nice pump on it, and then it also, you know, doesn't twist on, but it, it slides on very firmly, so if I was traveling with this, I wouldn't be afraid that it was going to pop off and spill all over my bag. And then this here is just the Becca... Um, um, set and refresh powder. It's the one that's supposed to feel like water and although I've had this one for quite a while. There you go. There's a little bit left. Um, I've had this for quite a while and it's kind of lost that effect with the, the moisturized feeling um, and I have a backup one of these thankfully. I also got this from BoxyCharm. It was in the box. I wasn't expecting to like it but I really really did. Next I'm going to talk about um, cheek products. So I've got my highlighters in this section and blushes in this section for this first month because I don't have a lot of the same brand in multiple shades. What I decided to do was primarily draw drugstore, so it's drugstore highlighters and blushes with a few exceptions. Starting with the highlighter, basically every highlighter in my collection has been one that I got in an Ipsy bag or a BoxyCharm. I don't really buy them for myself that often. I don't actually wear a whole lot of highlighters. I would say about 50% of the time I'm wearing highlighters. So to start with, we've got this here. This is a little duo from Pixie by Petra. I got this in a Ipsy bag and it's actually advertised as a blush duo, which is hilarious to me because if I take the lid off, you can see that not only is that one side extremely light, but it's also really, really shimmery. I don't know anybody who wears blush that's that shimmery. Um, so what I decided to do was use it as a highlighter, um, which has worked out pretty well, so I'm, I'm glad that I did that. This one here is a personal favorite. This was the first highlighter I ever bought. It's from Joe Fresh, so it's actually a clothing brand, but they do have some makeup, although they phased them out of some of the stores near me, so I don't even know if they're making this anymore. But this is their highlighter in the shade Champagne. And this has kind of got a little more depth to it um, than some of the other highlighters I've tried. And it's one of my absolute favorites. 
This next one is from um, K Voss, which is a brand I've never heard of. I got this in an Ipsy. Um, it's their Fairy Dust in the shade Moonlight. And this one I'm actually considering getting rid of. It's a decent color, but I don't really like the formula. It's quite powdery. Um, and then also, if you put it on your cheeks, it tends to come across as, like, chunkier than most other highlights. Like, there's more of a glitter to it than just a highlight. You'll have to take my word for it. I'm gonna stop swatching highlighters. <laughs> Okay, I've moved the lamp so it's not as blinding. Um, sorry about that. Last highlighter I've gotten here is uh, definitely not a, a drugstore brand. This is actually more of an indie brand. It's from Eloise, which is, I believe, a black-owned brand out of the UK. We got a couple of their items in BoxyCharm. I got a palette that I really, really loved, so I went to their site and I ordered some more stuff from them. And um, this was actually a free gift with purchase, so I didn't get to pick the shade, but the one that I got is so beautiful. It's a, um, their Get Glowed Illuminating Drops. This shade is Ice Queen. I have a few liquid highlighters, and this one is not like anything that I've, I've tried before. So this one has kind of a, a rosy, almost a mauve tint to it. It's not like anything I've ever seen. And it's very, very striking because that's such a small area <laughs> to do it justice. It's kind of thick but I think it stays in place really well and it has this nice effect. I'm actually wearing that today. Moving on to the blush section, I have two in here from e.l.f. This one is uh, called Mellow Mauve. These are the, like some of the older ones that they had. It's the world's tiniest mirror. It's got a little bit of a mauve shimmer to it that doesn't really come off if you swatch it, so I'm not going to swatch it, but on the cheeks, this one is really pretty and it's very inexpensive. This one is one of their primer infused blushes. As you can tell, this pan is absolutely enormous and I use like the smallest amount of it every time. So this is going to last me my whole life, basically. <laughs> the shade is always rosy and it's very highly pigmented. And the nice thing about their uh, primer infused blushes is that they last basically all day. It's basically a matte finish. Um, there isn't really any sheen or shimmer in there, but it's just so nice to get like a nice blush on your cheeks if you're going for a more vibrant blush. This is from Essence. This is an old favorite. They don't make these anymore, unfortunately. Um, it's the shade Sweetheart, and I think the product is called, it has completely worn off on the top, but I think I can still kind of read it. It's called their Silky Touch Blush, and it used to have um, kind of a texture pressed into the top of it, but it doesn't anymore because I have worn it down so much. This is actually something I'm close to hitting pan on, which I can't say about very many things. Um, I've had this one for quite a long time, and it's kind of in the peach family. I don't wear a lot of coral shaded blushes. This is probably about as deep as I would go on that side of things. Um, but it's really pretty, and if I can't, and it's nice and neutral, it doesn't really clash with much, so if I can't decide what to wear that day, this is one I reach for a lot. Another item from Joe Fresh, I actually bought this at the same time as the highlighter, it is their blush in the shade Hydrangea. It's deeper, it's more mauve, mauve, I don't know how you pronounce it, I usually say mauve, um, than most blushes that I own. It's a bit rich for my skin tone, and therefore I don't wear it a lot, but I think it's quite nice. This is also like a matte or satiny type finish. There's no shine to it whatsoever. Lastly, I don't know if the Balm is really considered a drugstore brand. They do sell them at Shoppers Drug Mart, um, but not even their whole line. It's just a few select things. I got this in an Ipsy, which is why it's so tiny. Um, so this is their Auto Bomb Girl Powder Blush in Houston Street. So it's a bit more on the, the peachy corally side as well. I've become hooked on this. I really like the formula. It's nicely pigmented. You know, you just dip your brush in a little bit. A little goes a long way and it blends out really, really nicely. So I am actually interested in trying more of their cheek products. And this one, again, not really much of a shimmer to it. It's just, just matte. I'm wearing that today too. In hindsight, I probably should have included my Elf Modern Metals palette this month. It's a cheek palette with three blushes and three highlighters, but I use it frequently enough that I don't really think I needed to. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see part two, which is lip products, or part three, which is eyeshadow palettes, you can find the links in the description. Please also consider subscribing. Thanks.